my creatives and welcome to another video so today i'm going to share with you how i made an envelope flip book with this flow paper book for food lovers so that's quite a mouthful but uh, in essence this is um, like the paper uh, the flow book for paper lovers we get every year uh, but this one is food themed and as someone who doesn't really have a thing with food it was quite something i was like hmm but i do love paper so uh i thought i would get on with this challenge and make a food themed meal for my pen pal debbie i know that debbie loves to cook uh, she always makes the biggest christmas uh, meals and dinners uh, and she writes uh, to me about it and so i thought she was a perfect pen pal to make this uh, something for so I first go browsing through the book and seeing what I like at first glance and I'm going to take out some pieces and now you see me having this sushi paper and I'm going to match up some patterns with that because I take one of the envelopes that is in this book and I take two pieces of pattern paper. So here are some of the goodies that I already knew that I wanted to include because I thought they would fit and I thought Debbie would enjoy them. So I'm going to already prep those. Usually I do my goodies at the end, but I don't know. This time I was like, yes, this is going in. <laughs> I've decided. So these are some cards. I'm not quite sure what they say anymore uh, because it's been a while since I've sent this out. Because of the COVID, everything takes quite a while to arrive. Uh, so I can't remember quietly what I sent all of it, but we will see together. So uh, I have these recipe cards that were in the book and I thought that she would enjoy them. Uh, they are also always very cute because the illustrations of Flo are always amazing. So uh, I had a lot of fun making an envelope flipbook with this book, even though food, food is not my thing. Uh, so here is a paper bag. They have the folding tutorial in there uh, that I didn't quite <laughs> follow how it was supposed to go but uh i still made a cute little paper bag and i really like these this illustration it made me so happy and i thought it would also make debbie happy so i'm just going to um, stick this down with some double-sided tape and then i'm going to add some goodies in this little bag um, you can see it as redundant because there are also going to be envelopes but i like to add goodies in extra bags and stuff so here is one of the envelopes that is included in the book and i'm just going to, to cut that out at the guiding lines but the other pieces of paper didn't have the shape of the envelope on there so i just used this one as a template and i'm going to trace around the piece of paper with uh, the envelope and you can do this yourself if you don't have an envelope punch board i also have an envelope punch board but i'm not using it for this here's coda he uh, came in for a little sneak peek uh, you don't see him very often because he is a very on its own kitty so i left it in that he is coming in um so yeah you can also do this with envelopes that you already have at home just take them apart and you can trace them and then you don't need an envelope punch board you can also find templates online and print them out that is what i did before i bought the envelope punch board i did buy the envelope punch board at the end because i was making so many envelopes and it does save a lot of time but it is not something you need to have you can find ways around it so now I have three envelopes with just one template and one of the pieces of paper that was intended to be an envelope. And I really, really liked the patterns of these um, papers. They are beautiful and I always love the flow illustrations and I always love the paper book for or the regular paper book. So I knew I would love the illustrations, although it's not my theme not my personal theme but you know what it's making snail mail and um other people like different things than you do so i think i can make snail mail with things that don't like i don't like but still look cute and other people do like so i'm just gluing the envelopes down here and now i'm going to assemble my 
envelope flipbook. So I'm going to think about how I want to have them ordered when they fold in into each other. And I decide on this order, but I thought the flap was too big. So I'm going to cut a piece of the flap. And I think there is still a strip of half an inch left for me to glue it on the other envelope. But I didn't like that they would take up so much of the other pattern. So that is why I chose to cut off a piece of the flap. Uh, but just enough to put my glue there to assemble the flipbook. And then this is the base of the flipbook it's very simple and very easy you can also do this with envelopes that already exist just glue them together and you can decorate them with any kind of paper you like or cards uh, it doesn't really matter so i didn't for this one i didn't like the patterns showing up on each other so i decided to cover them up with some black washi tape i think this one is from action uh, but you can wash get washi tape everywhere i think uh, so I just covered that up and when you fold the flipbook together, there is not a clashing pattern on the other pattern, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so now I'm just checking if the flipbook is how I want it to be. And I'm going to check if my uh, plant goodies fit inside my envelopes because I sometimes forget and things don't fit. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm just checking out how I want to add things in there and I decided I want to have the bag with the goodies in one and I want to have the cards on another uh, envelope and in the first envelope with the sushi there will be my letter. So now I'm going to take my Tim Holtz phrase booklet and I'm going to take out some tiny word stickers. I love tiny word stickers. I think they finish off a project beautifully and they give just an extra little thing so this one says just because creativity takes courage and i thought that was fitting for as well as me as debbie so uh, i wanted to add that on the cover and it really fit nice in the address label because that's supposed to be an address label but i'm not going to write her address on there because it's going into a separate envelope so I find these other cards and I'm going to add that to the bag. I thought she would also <clears throat> like those. And then I'm moving on to adding some washi on a playing card. Um, I always include washi tape in my mails. I think I forget every once in a blue moon. But I love to share washi tape. I also love to receive washi tape. So uh, that's something that goes in every mail that I send. <clears throat> but I make sure that the washi tape fits the theme of the mail or uh, colors or anything like that. Uh, it's somewhat cohesive. So now I'm going to decorate this bag a little bit. I'm going to add a tiny word sticker. And uh, I will also take my pen and I'm just going to doodle in some hearts and some dots, I believe. And I do this by random. Uh, I feel very secure about my doodling but if you don't feel very secure about it you can also draw it out first in pencil before you go in with the pen there's no shame in that and i did that a long time but i got more confident uh, of course doing more mail and drawing more makes you more confident so now i'm going through this book again and it was quite uh somewhat of a challenge to figure out what i wanted to add um that made sense but still look cute so i had to figure out some things and uh, usually with a new product i really have to get a feel for it uh, because i don't know what's in there i don't know what the possibilities are um, it's not as thick as the other books so that's good because it it limits your choice but still you have to get a bit of a feeling for the product that you're using so i saw these adverts and i really really loved it and I also thought, um, I, I, well, I loved it for a meal for Debbie. So I'm going to add that to this pinkish pattern. I think they're coffee cups or teacups or something like that. Um, because I thought the pink of the parrot looked really nice with the background. So I'm going to layer that up on a doily to break the pattern a little bit because it was getting really busy. Um, so a doily is always a good idea. It's white, it breaks up a little bit and makes it a bit softer. And I'm also going to add some of the washi tape I used on the outside on the inside to bring that back together as a whole. And uh, yeah, make sure that everything um, stays down 
properly so here's my tape runner that where the tape broke so i have to do it myself uh, but that's okay and i'm going to assemble this um i lost my words well you see what i'm doing <laughs> So next up, I am going to add a real stamp, a real used stamp, and this is a Dutch one. And I thought the colors would fit uh, this envelope. I really enjoy adding real used stamps to envelope projects because it gives something extra and something real to it. Like I really mailed it or something. And I really enjoyed the colors with this uh, sushi pattern. And then I'm going to add a high Debbie with some yellow um alphabet stickers that fit the yellow sushi on the pattern uh, if you are wondering what i am using i have a list of everything that i use down below in the description box and if i can find it online there is a link to it some of them are affiliate links and some of them are not just so you know but everything is listed down below that i used so for the closure, I decided on adding a bread and that is a very simple thing to do. I just poked a hole through the flap of my envelope and put the bread in there. And now that will be my closure and I will finish that later on. But I just saw this thing in the book and I thought I wanted to add that to the bottom of this envelope as a little decoration. I really liked the puns of this book, Taste the Love, on those kinds of things. Uh, I also think they fit really nice for a snail mill. So I had a lot of fun working with this book. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to make something with... I tried for this time, I tried to use this book as much as possible with less things extra. But I think in the future I will add more things um, that are not in this book. Because it was quite hard to really embellish with the limited supplies that I had. Uh, I, did, I still think it turned out great. Um, I did add the tiny word stickers of course. Uh, but for the most part I tried to keep the most things i did from this book i don't know if this made any sense i'm a bit chaotic guys so if this voiceover is a bit chaotic that's why <laughs> uh yeah so now i'm going to add some stickers to decorate um uh, or to make some embellishment clusters and i'm going to add more of these tiny word stickers i love the black contrast uh, with the bold pattern and i think it stands out a lot and i love to add some of these uh quotes or phrases and some of them, I always think of the person if I am adding phrases, what I think would fit. Or maybe we talked about something in a letter or I want to say it's, uh, they're not random phrases to me. They have somewhat of a meaning for me to that person or to what I'm going to talk about or what we talked about in the past or something like that. So now I'm going to add some uh, more words with these what, yellow stickers, but I had to figure out which words because I was running low on vowels, of course, but I didn't want to introduce another color. So it ended up saying fun, joy, read, and I wanted to have fun stuff read, but stuff, I couldn't make the word anymore because I didn't have enough letters and then I wanted to add another word, but I didn't have enough letters. So I ended up with joy and i still think that it fits because happy meal is joy right i mean i get always so happy and so excited if i find something in my mailbox so i think it really fits the theme so now i'm going to make my own writing paper and this is something you also see me do a lot because i really enjoy that um, because i can make it precisely that it will fit my mail and it will fit the theme and the colors match and that is something that i really enjoy doing um, and it doesn't have to be difficult i mean for this uh, i take five sheets of writing paper debbie and i write very long letters to each other so i always have to make enough writing paper um, but uh, i take a washi tape and i add that to the bottom i layer uh, to the top i'm sorry and i layer that up and i do it to the same to all 
five of them to make it cohesive and then I'm going into the flow book and I'm going to take out some stickers that I think that match so I'm browsing through the book to see what I have but I end up with these circle stickers and I end up picking sticker stickers that are yellow or green so mostly yellow or mostly green I think I also put one orange, but orange is like family of yellow. So I thought it was okay. And here's Coda again. <laughs> yeah, this is the one more orangey, but it's a family of yellow. So I thought it would fit. Um, because that is the color scheme that I wanted to go for. And I thought that they would fit with what I already made. So now I'm going to fold all of them and I'm going to check if it fits my uh, envelope because it happens to me all the time that I made my own writing paper and I didn't keep in mind how big my envelope is. Because sometimes envelopes differ in size, especially if you are European and you work with American envelopes or the other way around, it's a different paper size. We work with A4, they work with letter size, it's just all a little bit different. So. Yeah, I sometimes forget, <laughs> but this time I got away with it. It was packed, it was full, but I got away with it. So now I'm going to add the twine for my closure and I take this gold thread twine I bought at Hema with Christmas. So I have this in my stash for a little while now. I used it for some birthday, uh, birthday. Christmas presents and I had some leftover so of course I'm going to use that uh, in my meal and I love that it is gold I think it fits this meal very nicely and I'm just going to wrap it around uh, I go for a wrap around for three times so the thread is on there three times and then I turn it around the bread that's what I like to do uh, I always check if my meal fits into an envelope because I don't want to spend time on decorating an envelope and then my meal will not fit. That is something I really, really don't like. So I always check if my meal fits properly in an envelope, if I can close it properly, and then I will take the time to decorate it. So there's this big piece of paper in there and I think it's meant to put on your table as a decoration but of course i'm not gonna do that because why i can decorate my envelope with it and it matched the paper that i already used on the inside but instead of using the white side of this i decided to use the green side which i really like because i love the minty green and it took a bit of the inside to the outside but not too matchy matchy and I'm going to add that to the front of the envelope and onto the flap of the envelope. So I usually don't really decorate the backs of the envelopes because uh, I have to stick quite a big label on there with custom decoration stuff. And uh, I'm it happened in the past it happened to me all the time that i had to cover up all my beautiful embellishments so i don't really take the time to decorate the back a lot uh, my i decorate the front and the sides of the envelope and maybe the flap sometimes or a sticker on the back but it, it's not the main focus of my decorating so i decided to add some washi tape to all four sides of the envelope to make sure that it will not rip in the mail and that what my paper will not uh, be ripped off that I glued to this envelope. Uh, and that's something I like to do. I enjoy doing it. I also think it gives a nice look. Uh, what you saw is I forgot to put my own sticker on my mail. So I added that somewhere. Uh, because that is something I recently started doing. But I forgot it. Almost forgot it for this mail. So now I'm going to take uh, some labels from this flow book and I am going to add those as address labels. But they're quite small. So I am also going to take some simple white printer labels um, to make sure that there is enough room for me to write down the address. I have quite, it's not really big, but it's a bigger handwriting. So uh, I knew that this small label wouldn't be enough for me to write out uh, the address. So I just added some extra white space on there to make sure that I could write down the address. And I still really like the layered look of these labels together. 
I also added some of the stickers on the envelope, homemade with love. I really like that because that's very true. It, that, it's not food, but still, I made this at my home with a lot of love. And then that is my envelope flipbook for Debbie that I made with the flow paper book for food lovers. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up. I would also love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye!